This is tutorial number 49, and it covers how to use the slot feature within Katia v5. To start off, open up tutorial part number 49, which is located on the DVD. Now the slot feature can be found on the side here, on the toolbar, or if you go and click Insert, Sketch Base Features, and Slot. Now the slot is exactly the same as the rib, which we did in the previous tutorial, and it's the same in the sense that you need a profile and you need a path for the profile to be swept, uh, swept along. So what it is is that the rib uh, extrudes and creates a part and the slot will uh, make like a pocket and take away and extract from the part. So to start off, let's start making some sketches uh, to make our slot. So first off, we're gonna make the profile. So let's click this face here, click sketch. And let's click the top line here, press control, click this line here, and this line here, select them all, project them out, and turn them all into construction elements. Now we'll click the rectangle, and let's draw a rectangle in here. Now I'm just going to go back because I had it selected as the construction, so remember to turn it off. Now we'll do another rectangle, and let's dimension it. So let's dimension this to 30. And let's make it from this side here to that side there. Let's dimension it to 30 also. Now let's exit and go back up. So now what we have is our profile uh, for our slot. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create the path for it to follow. So let's click this face here, click sketch, and we'll click this line here and this line here, extract them out, turn them into construction elements, and we'll draw a profile. So we'll draw a line. Let's just draw one straight line going across at an angle. And let's make this angle. So let's click the constraint. So we'll click this line and this line here. And we'll turn this into a 80 degree angle. Now we'll go back up and we'll let it uh, make the slot going across. So let's click slot. We'll click the profile, which is this sketch here. And then the center curve, which is our path right here. And you can see in the preview what it's going to look like. Let's click OK. And you can see that we cut a slot right out of the block. Now again, like the rib feature, we can go back in and there's some things we can play around with. So let's double click on it. And you're able to merge the ends again. So we'll clean it up and just merge all the ends. And you're able to create a thick profile. So let's make another thick profile. Let's click thick profile. And this time let's make the thickness 10. Click OK. And now you can see that we cut out around 10 millimeters all the way around. Now we're also able to go in and change that angle so we can kind of move this uh, slot up and down. So let's open up the slot, double click on sketch 4, and let's change this angle. So let's double click on it and let's make the angle 60 degrees. Click OK. And we'll go back and you'll see that we've changed it and it's moved up. Now let's move it back down, double click on sketch 4 again, right click on it, or sorry, double click on it, and we'll change the sector. Let's put it to sector 3 and let's bring this angle, let's try it at 200 right now and that's not going to work so let's bring it up a little bit more, let's put it to 250 and bring it up just a little bit more again. So we'll bring it up to 270. Uh, let's put it down a little bit more, 260. And we'll go back. And again, we've cut it on another angle. So you're able to change the path uh, as much as you want. Now let's go into this path one more time. Let's delete this line here. And let's put more of a curve, more organic uh, cut to it. So with the spline tool, just go and make a nice curve all the way around. 
and we'll go back and it'll automatically go along that curve that we made for it. Now let's delete this slot and this time let's create one that isn't a square. So let's do a circle like we did on the last one. So let's click this face, click sketch, and we'll click circle. Just draw a little circle in there and we'll go back, click the top face here, click sketch, and as we're going to be able to cut through this, we can kind of make like a route for it to follow. So uh, if we use the spline tool, you can kind of like make like a little path and a little route and everything's going to follow and cut right through it. So when you're doing this, this can be kind of like tubing or piping that you want something to follow through. So now let's go back and we'll use the uh, slot feature. So the profile is going to be this sketch here. And then the center curve is going to be that profile up there. Click OK. And we've cut the slot through it. Now, if we double click on this, we're going to change this again. And we'll just make it go straight through. Go back up. And now we've cut the slot straight through. So by using the slot feature in a kind of application like this with a hole, you're able to kind of uh, have your dimension of what the hole is going to be and then kind of draw out and say where it's going to go through say like a larger block so kind of like a little pathway and everything for it. So again this is a, a tool that's going to save you time as you're able to create like a complex path for it to follow along and just use and create one sketch as the profile for it. And this concludes our tutorial on how to use the slot feature within Katia V5.